I am Beth Ann Sodika Beth Ann Ka. What's up? I'm Ayla Sodika Ayla Ka. This is Let's Talk BL, a boys love podcast. Yindi Tone Rapsu, Let's Talk BL Citywide Podcast. Thanks. Welcome back to the podcast. Today we are joined by two very special guests. Everyone has definitely been fallen in love with these two step by step. Please welcome Man and Ben. Hello. Hello. I'm Man Trisanu. I'm Ben Manyapol. Uh, I'm awesome. so excited. Welcome. Yes, and so I excited. I appreciate the little jump start we got on Lost in Translation. Yes, yes, yes. So a little, let's a little help. Let's jump right into it. As is tradition here at Let's Talk BL, we're going to start with a little game called Lost in Translation. As English speaking fans, we know that it's really hard to find information about our favorite Thai actors online. If you can't read or write in Thai. You can copy and paste Thai. You can copy and paste Thai, but you might not be able to read or write it. Therefore, we have to scour the internet and we rely on fan translations and on Google Translate. But as we all know, Google Translate is not the most reliable <laughs> in many, many cases. So today we're going to go straight to the source to find out what is true and what has been lost in translation. Yes. Okay, guys. Do you want to play a fun game together? Wani Malin game Sanuk Sanuk Khan Mai Ka? Yes. Yeah. 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 I love the confusion when they're like, I think that was Thai. They're like, oh, yeah, that's Thai. That's Thai. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. So, man, we're going to start with you. We're going to start with some basic facts, including your full Thai name, which I'm going to try and pronounce. I'm going to put it on the screen, but I will try and pronounce it. And you're going to tell me if I've gotten this pronunciation correct, because I can't just go to Google and type in man. <laughs> It'll give me a lot of men, but not the one man I'm looking for. So <laughs> I have to learn your full Thai name. So I'm going to try my best. Tell me if I pronounce this properly. Your full Thai name, Chu Thai Ke, Tristanun Soranun. Almost, almost, almost. Okay, tell me. Tell me. It's Trisanu Soranan. Soranan. Trisanu Soranan. Okay. The romanization always gets us. I know. It's always confusing. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Next up, we have to know your birthday. This is also very important so that we can send you all the birthday presents. <laughs> so your your birthday, one could ke, sip et mokara song ha sam si. Yeah, Whoa. wow. That, that was that was really nice. That was really good. Yeah, that was good pronunciation. Oh no. Nice. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. Next up, we'll see if I can do this one. Your height, which is very important and very impressive. Yeah. <laughs> you are 190 centimeters. That's about six foot three if you're in the States. Kwam Sung yep. Ke Roy Kao Sip Centimeter. Shayru Mai. Correct. Correct. Yeah, correct right. You're okay. to oh my god <laughs> oh you. my god uh, i know i'm fluent right uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay okay now we have some fun facts about you these have been translated i'm only going to say these in english though because my tie is not quite there <laughs> so your first fun fact you are actually thai danish is this true yeah, it's true so what is danish and thai yeah Danish in Thai, then well, like I was supposed to say in Thai, yeah, they, then my Danish, Danish, it's the same. It's the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. that's so there's easy. No, there's no Thai word for Danish. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, so now I really can be fluent in Thai. We recently had another Thai Danish guest on the show, and he did teach me how to say "I love you" in Danish. Do you know how to say it? Yep, I do. I don't remember. Can you tell me how to say it? <laughs> sure. Yeah, it's good. Uh, Mungan. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank no, you. Said it. Okay, um, okay, okay. Next up, next fun fact. This is a very fun fact that was heavily translated. You competed in the 2018 Asia Model Festival Awards, Face of Asia, in South Korea, and you won the On Day Cosmetics Award. Is this true or false? True. It's true. Okay. You're the face of Asia. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I, 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 to be honest, I didn't, I didn't even feel anything. <laughs> <laughs> he felt nothing. nothing. <laughs> that's actually a boss answer. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's incredible. Okay. Oh, I love it. And now your final fun fact. 
you have a degree in hotel management. True. True. Okay. If you could open a hotel anywhere in the world, where would you open it? Uh, Thailand. In th- okay. Nice. Okay. Where specifically in Thailand? Uh, anywhere on island, like Samui okay. or Phuket. Uh, okay. We haven't been there yet. No. Next time. Yes. Never Maybe we can go together uh, and find a hotel. It's island down south. Yeah. South of Thailand. Next next time next time next time third time's the term okay congratulations you did it you survived lost in translation I'm so proud of you yeah. okay now it's my turn to speak the tie hopefully i live up to all the expectations i believe in you <laughs> okay ben it's your turn are you ready no I'm never <laughs> ready <laughs> okay <laughs> your full tie name chitaika bonyapon Lick hit a man, almost, almost <laughs> close. There's so many letters, there's a lot of letters I'm here, but it's pretty hot. Um, my surname is Lick hit a noy pon, Lick hit a noy pon. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's easier when you say it. The M and okay. the N together make it a bit confusing for the English speakers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Once you remember to never pronounce R's, Thai gets a little easier. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Okay, next up we have your birth date. September 7th, 2001. Wan Kid Ke. Jet Ga- Ganya Song Ha Si Si. Yeah, that, that was right. Perfect. Nice. Amazing. Okay. Next up we have your height. 180 centimeters. If you're in the States, that's about 5'11". Kwamsun ke Roy Bet Sip centimeters. Amazing. We're the same height. Oh, really? Really? Yes. You're pretty tall. <laughs> yes, I am really tall. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, fun facts. This is a very fun fact. You were in a band called Jatramit with Nat Natasit. Yes. How do you pronounce that band? Um, Jatramit. There are some very cute videos on YouTube. That was like me when I was kind of blonde. Yes. Yeah, I was going to say, are you going to go blonde again? Um, I don't know. Maybe in the future. Oh, nice. Okay. Amazing. I love it. Okay, next fun fact. You dislike tomatoes. True. Very true. Just, Just tomatoes or all vegetables or... What? Um, just tomatoes, like fresh one. Oh, interesting. But you're, are you okay with ketchup? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, as long as it's not like fresh and juicy just tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes. Oh. Okay. Fascinating. I'm trying to remember if in the series there was any food with tomatoes. With tomatoes. That would be funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Last but not least, you sang one of the step by step OSTs. Everything easy because of you. True. Um, you know what you have to do now. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll send I don't know how to sing. Oh, <laughs> I, I can twerk. I can twerk while you sing. Perfect. Do I it. it. I'm do sold it. on this. <laughs> okay, uh, a little bit. Yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come Cause baby, you're my sunshine, all right. Oh my oh god. <laughs> there we go. I was like, listen, man said he would twerk and I saw no twerking. So, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Only one half of you held up that side of the deal. Oh, uh, incredible. He was like, I'll sing a little and then proceeds to sing. sing. Thank you. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Oh. Okay. You also did it. You also survived yes. Lost in Translation that and you so even fun. had to sing. Oh, so, yeah. I'm double proud of you. Okay. I mean, I feel like man sang enough in the series for a lifetime. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. 
but not on Let's Talk BL. It's true. It's true. Don't worry. There's still time. Yes, yes. Not to worry. Okay. We have a few questions. We do. Now we have some real questions for you. Some some very hard hitting questions <laughs> if you're ready for them. Okay. Okay. We're so we're ready. Ready. Okay. okay. So fans. It's us. We're the fans. Fan club. Fan club. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fan club. <laughs> but like it's us. Our loving step by step. We just had to say goodbye and we oh, weren't ready. So sad. What did you think when you first read the script? Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, well, I thought well, I thought it was pretty. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> no, because like the, the script that we read at the beginning, it was it was only a draft. It wasn't yeah. like fully finished. Mm -hmm. So, so we we already like committed to the project without without uh, reading the whole script, the full final script yet. So. We were already committed, but like we knew that it was it was gonna be fun. It was gonna be yeah, interesting because yeah. um, it's made from from the from the book. So um, yeah, it it was it was pretty interesting, right? Right, interesting, interesting, interesting. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> interesting is loaded. Yeah. So once you saw the finished script, once you found out what was gonna happen, what did you think then? Um. um well, like we we had like a, a table reading together, and we just um, a re a read through. Uh, yeah, a read through, and um, every time there's a love scene, you know, we just kind of look. <laughs> we, uh, we just kind of look at each other and and laugh, you know. Like, this is what we're be doing, you know. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, at least you were prepared. Yeah. Uh huh. At least you were prepared. At least you knew it was coming before you actually yeah, started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the side. But like yeah. we had so much fun, you know, reading the script and doing workshops together. Amazing. I love it. Yeah. Okay. This series is a story that takes a relationship step by step. What is your favorite step of a relationship? <laughs> um, I think I like it like when they when they finally like fell in love and together I think because like that is the part that like everyone's been waiting for and that's the part that the Jing's been fighting for like throughout the whole series and like it finally happened and I think I think I like that I, I like that a lot. Jing Ma. Jing Ma. <laughs> Jing Ma. Jing Ma. How about you? How about you? I think I like the first step it's really like magical like when they met each other from the incident of software like splashing on the shoes i think i like that step the most yeah. he likes throwing food yeah making a mess <laughs> making a mess <laughs> making a mess yeah. there, I, are, yeah. there are so many messes during this otherwise, relationship otherwise they wouldn't have known each other you know yeah otherwise Jing would just walk past part to elevator and just <laughs> then they would never met you know if, if it's true bad. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. true, true. Without a little mess, how can you ever hope to fall in love? I guess is the moral of this. Story. <laughs> I, I don't know, <laughs> but okay, that's what we're gonna go with. We'll yeah, go with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Okay, so this was actually the first BL for both of you, and Ben, it was your first series ever. Were you nervous about joining this project at all? At first, I'm pretty nervous since I'm like very, very new. Like everything is new to me. Like acting being in front of camera and working with a lot of crews it's pretty exciting and nerve-wracking like at the same time <laughs> but i just get past like no i have had that mm -hmm. you went through it yeah I, like i went through it and with him too like well like for me I, for me i always feel nervous every every new project starts it's always a new crew new thing New people, new actors, new, new environment, new script. So I also kind of, even though I've had like a little bit of experience before, I also felt uh, uh, nervous and a bit of insecure and stuff. Oh. Yeah. Sort of, you know, it's also new to me. You know. But you're awesome. You're awesome. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, awesome. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, were you guys surprised at all by the response from fans? Because people did love this series. 
yeah. really yeah. surprised you know sitting here and doing interview with you guys from, <laughs> from texas this is this is like over my imagination yeah yeah i've never thought that like i would get fans from, like, like a lot of international, international fans. fans pretty crazy yeah. they just pretty wanted us they were just waiting for us yes clearly <laughs> of course yeah, yeah, yeah. yes yes <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah, I love it. So the question now becomes, how did you actually get started acting going from, you know, a high school band and being the face, the face of Asia? <laughs> how, how did you get into acting? Mine is pretty simple. Like I just came for the casting without knowing that I would get the role. And that's probably all. <laughs> but why did you decide like, to cast? Um like before like coming to cast i didn't do much thing like i was kind of like an introvert mm -hmm. i kind of like doing stuff at home playing around but i think like there's some days or some time that i think that why not like trying something new like or step out of your comfort zone so like why not so just try and then oh. if i didn't get it that's okay but i did get it <laughs> So that's okay. Okay. <laughs> that's yeah. yeah, that's fair. <laughs> okay, oh, man. Yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I think I, I started from from uh, doing casting for TVC TV commercials you know, back then, like many years ago. That was when I started acting, and uh, I had no clue, you know, what I was doing, what I was supposed to do. And I think I, I gained a lot of experience from doing that going to casting for different tv commercials and slowly i started learning acting and got into it. so what what made you start casting for commercials um because uh, i started as a, a model like when i first got back from denmark when i was like 20 and then um, i did like fashion shows and stuff I also did the tv commercials and that's how I started, you know, and I slowly building up my experience and yeah, that's from that, that point. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> interesting. Also interesting. It's all so interesting. Well, we're so thankful that you guys made those choices because we got a really great series. We got a fantastic series out of it. It's true. <laughs> okay. I mean, Ben, for this to be your first series, you you hit it out of the park. You you did act alongside Up, who is a very experienced actor. Did you ask for any advice? Um, actually, like almost every time. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Like I, I like ask both uh P Man and P Up, and like how do like like they do the homework? Like they also have like different method when like doing the homework and the script and i got a lot of advices from them it's just like too much that i can like explain it to you right now <laughs> yeah 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 it was too much advice was there any one piece of advice that was like the best piece of advice you got um hate your mark uh study the like script like the day before and then when you go the yeah in the front of the set you just like um throw it away and go with the flow oh so like it would be like more natural like when you try to memorize the lines and and once you're on set yeah yeah just... and it, it would just go with the flow and then go naturally oh that's a very yeah. interesting piece of advice yeah yeah right? yeah super interesting <laughs> yeah it worked you guys were natural <laughs> yes yes very natural uh okay so man the question now becomes in the series of course jang owns a restaurant in addition to working at the company but if you owned a restaurant in real life what type of food would you serve it's a very important and interesting question i think i think i would like to have a Either a Japanese restaurant or just like a, a grilling place, a chill restaurant, you know, so like people would mm. come and like grill and chill. Mm. And you could call it awesome. grill and chill. Yeah, grill and chill with some live music. 
maybe maybe I'll I'll hire Ben to play some days, man. But okay, like he okay. needs to come, he needs to come for audition. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. There's a lot of people. A lot of people. Okay. A lot of competitors. But you, you might you might not make it then. Damn, that's I have, I have high standards. Oh, <laughs> high standards. Okay. Oh, all right then. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I love it. Not giving him a pass. I know. Okay. In the series, the characters take a trip to Bangsan. We recently went to Bangsan. We did. Yes. And I will say, I there did was, learn there was a no little crying. I learned a little phrase about Bangsan from some of our Thai friends. They said. Typically, when you go to Bangsan, you buy wrong high tea Bangsan. We didn't cry, but won. apparently, I apparently, won. you're supposed Wait, to. you have to say it again. Apparently, you're supposed to buy wrong high tea Bangsan. <laughs> we didn't cry. You guys didn't cry. Did you, you I mean maybe it? you did cry? Have you got? Have you guys not heard this phrase? Um, to be yet. honest, <laughs> not yet. Well, <laughs> but like, I could see why people would go to Bangsan for for a cry. You know? <laughs> maybe they're like heartbroken, but like, and that's the closest place where you can go to the ocean. That's yeah, Bangsan, Bangkok. Yeah, that's what our friend told us: is you go there when you're heartbroken because yeah. you can just or like after university, if you had like a hard test or your grades were bad, yeah, you can just like go and cry. That's yeah, what we yeah, were told. But like I never heard of the the phrase before. Oh, it's because I'm super fluent in Thai. So like, <laughs> you guys know so much about like Thai Thai thing. You probably like think in that right now. <laughs> <laughs> we were. Like Bangsan, we we were in Thailand for three weeks. We're basically Thai. Yeah, basically, it's great. <laughs> okay, okay. So you go to Bangsan. You go to the aquarium. It's a very fun day. But what do you like to do in your spare time? In Bangsan? No, no, just, just in general. general. <laughs> uh, I, I, I like to go and play football with friends, you know, hang around. And, and I spend a lot of time with my mom and I, you know, watch movies and stuff. Okay. Good answers. Interesting like answers. Interesting. Oh, I know it is interesting. Indeed, indeed. Oh my God. How about you, Ben? <laughs> Um, I like to like play with my cat, play with the instruments, like musical instruments, and watch some like series, like anime. Do you know like anime? Like, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. And also like um, sleep. Sleep. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> me too yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, that 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 was one of your fun facts on the internet ben is that you like to sleep <laughs> yeah i know i, know. I like to sleep <laughs> uh okay so man you said you like to play football but do you watch football yeah I watch football too okay i have a really important like question for you i have a Walker. really really important question for you yeah. what team do you support Manchester United. Of course uh, you do. Know. It's fine. We can still be friends. But that was the wrong answer. Just so you know. Uh, so what team did you, you probably support you Liverpool? The uh, correct answer is Liverpool. Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact. It's okay. We can still be friends. It's fine. We can still be friends. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, oh, I love it so much. Okay, before we get in a fight, let's talk about music <laughs> instead. Yes, yes, yes. We yes. we can all be friends when it comes to music. So we love the OST "Only oh. You," performed by Atlas. Atlas, one of our favorite groups. Our favorite Thai group. Our favorite Thai group. Who is your favorite Thai music artist? Who should international fans be listening to? Um, for me, is Up Pum Thai. <laughs> oh my god Wait, yeah yeah up to you i was gonna say yeah, what yeah. what's that what's that song that he sings yeah how how does that song go uh, how does that song go then <laughs> how does it how does it sing oh he's i think he's i don't know i don't know oh you're lying can you, you're can, lying can you, can you sing a little bit for us yeah sing, go ahead i mean i feel like yeah you guys need to you guys need to sing yeah. up to you yeah yeah yeah, yeah, Wait, yeah, yeah. Have, come like, on up to you yep <laughs> We actually the first the first time we went to Thailand we got to see Up perform that song. We, did. we went to his whole like release of that. Yeah. Well, where is it? Where, where was it? It was in Samyon Mirtown. Samyon Mirtown. Oh. Samyon Mirtown. Oh, that was like last month, wasn't it? 
No, last year. Last year. <laughs> for like for like four up to you. Yeah. yeah for up to you. I was gonna go there, but I have like other work. Okay. Like that day. So we probably like missed each other. Oh, oh sad. Each other. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Well, next time we're in Thailand, we'll we'll make yeah. sure we don't miss we'll each other. each other. We'll find each other. It'll be fine. Yeah. You guys have to come if you have like a fan meet or something. Okay. Yes, if you have a fan meeting, we will come. Uh, yes, yeah. sure. Will you perform up to you at the fan meeting? Um, ben, I think Ben will perform. <laughs> He'll be your special guest. Can, can, can we get a preview of it? Can we get a preview of it? Then? Do we even have one? <laughs> uh, I feel like we need a man-Ben duet on something. We do. I agree. Man, what about you? Who's your favorite Thai artist? Or do you have a favorite uh, artist? Uh, silly fools. Silly fools. Silly oh, fools. Silly fools. They call okay. Silly fools. Do we know them? I don't think so. I think this is a new one to us. I don't know. Ooh. We'll put it on the playlist. Yeah, rock band. Rock band. Ooh. Ooh fun. Okay. Is it? Take are their, they? Take out their older album, like the, the like the ten years back. Uh, oh. Huh. Like, are they like similar to like a Tilly Birds or a Safe Planet or like harder? No, no. no. it's different. Like different. Yeah. Oh, check them rock. Out. Okay, yeah. I'm into it. I'll check it out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, guys. So we're gonna wrap up. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. The time has come to wrap <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna start, or we're gonna we're gonna end. We're gonna end with with another game <laughs> called Kid You Not. We're going to say one word. You guys yell out the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. It's going to be chaotic. Just yell it out. You're going to see the word. We're going to say the word. We'll put it on the screen <laughs> and you just go. Okay. Prom my ka. Prom ka. Prom ka. Okay. First word. Boss. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is boss in Thai? Huana. Huana? Huana. Huana hua means head. Yeah. Na means face. Don't like take my lessons head. from man and Ben. Oh, fascinating. Huana. Okay. Amazing. Okay, okay. Next up, and we've learned that this is, I'm about to say the word I'm about to say is English and Thai. Yes, yes. Uh, Denmark. Man, Tristan. <laughs> Christopher Taranan. Uh, Little Mermaid. Oh, that's a good one. Yes. The or Little Mermaid is a Danish. Oh, right, 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 yes, right, right. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, there's also a statue. If you go, you can like see it. It's, yeah, I've been there. It's great. Okay. Next up. Thailand. Uh, <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Like the first word that came up is Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> In my mind, like Thailand, Thailand. Spicy food. Oh, nice. Oh. Somtam. Somtam. Oh, that's a good one. We love somtam. Yes. I love spicy food. And on my last trip to Thailand, I was on a mission to find actually spicy food because as a farang, it's very hard to get somebody to give you real spicy food. <laughs> I only had one place give me real spicy food last time. Maybe next time we can increase that ratio. That's true. That's true. Yes. Okay. Next word. Step. By step. Nice. <laughs> Bandai. Oh. Can, can we say it in Thai? Is that it? Wait, Bandai. what does that mean in Thai? Stair. Stair. Oh, stair. stair. Yeah. Oh. Wait, what is, the, what is the Thai title of Step by Step? Thai Thai Rat. ไข่ไข่รักไข่ไข่ไข่ไข่ไข่ไข่ไข่ไข่ไข่ไข่ไข่ไข่ไข่ไข่ไข่ไข่ไข่ไข่ไข่ไข่ไข่ไข่ไข
in yes. Chinatown. We had Gwai Jab in Yadawat last time we were in Thailand. Yeah, we did. It was delicious. Okay. You did it. We've all done it. We, it. we all had a great time. Wani Sanuk Maika. Sanuk. Sanuk. Good Thai king. Kopunka. Kopunka. Oh my god. Oh my okay. god. Okay. 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 Yes, they. I had so much fun. Um, okay, okay. Yes. And if you haven't watched Step by Step, go watch it now. Watch it now. Oh. Now's your chance. Yes. This has been Let's Talk BL. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow all things Let's Talk BL at Let's Talk BL. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to like, go share, go subscribe, and follow. Stay tuned for our Let's Talk BL. Thank you. Thank you.